Hello viewers. We know there are multiple PCB designing softwares available, but we will be learning Altium Designer. Things we learned in part 1, link is given in the description below, are why we should learn PCB layout designing software. Altium Designer is one of the best PCB designing tool. How to install Altium Designer in your system? How to create an Altium project? Then how to create an Altium schematic sheet? Or how to create a PCB sheet? We have discussed this flow to make a Garber file. This is the area where we capture schematic. We will learn the basics of capturing a very simple circuit diagram. A 5 5 based timer circuit where we will be blinking an LED. We will be capturing this circuit. So let's open Altium Designer. It may take little while. Once you open, you know how to create. I am creating a 555 timer one project in a new folder. I am creating a schematic and also saving that as 555 timer dash one. Now I have saved. Now Click the property. You can see the general section. You can select the unit. I am going to select MM. Now in the general section, you can select the border color. Like if I select red, all the lines will be red in color. You can select any color. I will be selecting black. Similarly, the page color you can change there. Obviously, I'll be going with white. Now below is page option. This is a standard option where you can select size of the sheet, the orientation of the sheet. You can select the title block and see or standard. I'm going to use standard and then you can hide the block or even can unhide it. The template section also there and a customized title block also you can create. So I'm going to click template and I'm going to select the size A4. And you can see a default title block came. There is many section where you can add the informations like the title. So go to the parameter and in the title section write the title. I'm going to write 555 timer and once you place enter see the title came similarly revision section write 1.0 and press enter see it came automatically now if you want you can delete a parameter or you can add an parameter you can add a parameter like this click add button and retype or rename it like I'm adding reviewer. So you can always type a reviewer's name. This title block is very very important. There are some system driven input like system date, system time automatically will come there. Similarly you can get uh, this number of seats, seat number of what of how many seats all those things you can do automatically for that go to the tool click annotation and from there click number schematic seats now click auto seat number auto document number and auto update the seat to so see the number came one and one of one the seat number also came thus you can update the title block now go to the component section you can see top there are two libraries device and the bus related libraries or connector related libraries all the other libraries are customized or we created later so first check with the device library i'm going to type res race and there some components got selected. This is a component library. I'm going to select race one. Here is the symbol of race one. 
double click that and you can see a register symbol stick to the mouse pointer you can click and place it on the schematic sheet again you will get one more register by clicking space bar you can rotate it and then place where you want to place escape to get rid of that symbol a double click on register you will get the properties window where you can assign the designator like r1 i have assigned there is another way double click the register and before clicking place tab key automatically the properties windows will come and type the designator name like r1 place enter and then click it will be on the sheet and you can see automatically the de next designator become R2. You can have R2 automatically the next designator is R3. This is a very beautiful feature of Altium. You can click space bar to rotate it. You can click space bar to rotate anti-clockwise or with shift and then space bar you can rotate it clockwise. Thus you can move and place and then click escape to get rid of this symbol. Again you can click component and can type CAPA kappa. You can select one capacitor like an ordinary capacitor. So I have selected this and uh, place where you want to place it escape and then double click to assign a designator like c1 i'm going to replace the component again so just click and pull it where you want to place it just drag it there similarly i'm going to place another capacitor which is a polarized capacitor place that there i am giving a designator of c2 now on top you can get ground symbol so connect that to ground symbol you can connect the ground symbol there if you right click you can see power also available so click property this is 5 volt but suppose i want to write 6 volt so i will get a 6 volt symbol there similarly in the next you can see where new labels like that so i got the wire and i am connecting the component suppose a wire is like that easily you can pull it and push it to give it a proper shape then i am drawing the wire again between the connectors to complete the circuit this is i am just drawing a basic circuit suppose i have an additional wire which i want to connect to another schematic so for that I need to add a port. So select a port and black says give it a name that CB2. So where you click that is the position and the next click is the length of the port. So this is the port and then connect that with the wire. So this is the port which you can refer to another schematic if you want to. Now suppose you want to have some label so you can add a label that point because there are multiple wires and you don't want so add a label name it suppose lb add there and another label on the same wire you can put now you can delete the complete wire and can add the label with the components thus you no need to wire draw the complete wire now suppose there are registers where double click and I want to hide this race value so I it I want to change the value of the register 2.7k so I just change the value and then click and properly place the uh, text similarly I am giving the value to all the registers and hiding the description part this is like a 10 microfarad capacitors so this is my basic circuit 
where we have learned how to place component, how to place new label, how to place a port, how to connect components. So hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. In the next video, we'll be really drawing the complete schematic of 555 timer. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Bye.